When you look at a dancer, they, they look different. They walk different, their arms, their chest is open. Ballet is something that is ingrained in their bones in the most literal sense. It's like they become their art. When you see them move, when you see them leap, when you see them extend, that's when you really understand how extraordinary they are. And that's why for me, they're the holy grail. They're like the ultimate subject. And I love capturing that. I am Omar Z. Robles, and I am a photographer. We're here in Brazil and Rio de Janeiro and I'm really excited to finally be here. I have been wanting to come here for the longest time. Brazil, it's such a rich, colorful, vibrant and, and joyful culture with deep roots in rhythm and music. The textures of the city are really going to juxtapose perfectly against the dancers that I'm working with. It just seemed like it was going to be the perfect backdrop for my work. It's like a dream come true to finally be here. All right, so today we are in uh, Rua do Vido, uh, here in the center of Rio. This is the historical center of Rio. Oh, yeah, un placer. Encantado. Un placer también. Aquí es que vamos a empezar más always think about movement. If I ask you, for example, to do like an arabesque, go for the full extension of the arabesque. Don't hold it because you think like I need it for the photo. I'm going to be able to catch it and if I can catch it from the first time, we'll do it like several times. Yeah. Good. One more. Good. Yeah. Good. That's better. Professional photography was never a path that I intended for myself. My parents wanted me to follow a more traditional route and be a teacher or a doctor or an engineer. And in fact, I started as an engineering student. But I knew I needed to just follow my passion. And my passion back then was performance arts. Yeah, yeah. See if you can turn a little bit more. And that's what I did. I followed my passion. And I studied mime theater in Paris, France. And I performed mime for 10 years professionally. And I was able to travel the world. And at some point along the way, I picked up photography. And I seemed to have kind of a natural knack for it. Again? Little by little, I started transitioning from one thing to the other and photography was taking most of my time. I started missing my performance background and I started the self-portrait series of stylized jumps in the middle of the streets of New York where I usually would shoot my street photography. But at some point it just became too difficult to be in front of the camera and behind the camera. So basically I outsourced the jumping and that's exactly how I started working specifically with dancers. So, the weather's been kind of hit and miss. Yesterday it said it was gonna rain and it didn't. Today it is actually raining a little bit. Uh, but I actually love shooting in the rain. It adds a lot of texture, it adds a lot of story. It really brings out like the grit of the city and that's what I really enjoy. So, looking forward to, to this shoot today. What I wanted to create with this series was to allow the viewer a sense of imagination, to create something uncommon in a common space. Putting them in an environment that's familiar, I think it strips away the barrier that comes with a studio or a stage and really shows how exceptional they are. 
It's like a bit of magic almost. Where people instead of walking, they leap. Instead of marching, they fly. Right now we are in Vigigal, which is uh, one of uh, Rio's favelas. It's been raining all day. You know, challenges like this are, are, are interesting because they force you to come out of your comfort zone. When I'm in a shoot, I never really know exactly what I'm looking for until I see it. I'm looking for things like leading lines or how the sunlight is reflecting of buildings or just storytelling elements. But beyond that, I'm also directing the dancers from a dance perspective. I feel I have a responsibility to each dancer because I'm capturing their craft, I'm capturing their art, but beyond that, I am capturing their livelihood. So having a background in dance really helps me communicate to the dancers what I want to see and what I want to capture. Beautiful. Do that again, but don't look this way. Look to the, towards the light. I gotta look at here. Turn this way. Yes. Let's do one, just like like a how do you call that? Decale. Close, 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 close. Aquí este, más aquí. Like be a little bit wider. Eso, eso. There. Actually, it's more like you're looking to the ground on the other side. For the most part, I try to work with local dancers. They live in this culture. They're part of this culture. So they will reflect that in the images. It is very important for me to bring the culture that I'm seeing and experiencing into those photographs. So many things in our world need to be uniform. We are taught to follow a certain path. I want my photos to be a contrast to that uniformity, to invite or dare people to look at things slightly different and maybe just break free of tradition, if only for a moment. I want my photos to show that it's okay to be different. It's okay to be extraordinary.